Many University of Washington students are on high alert. I was very scared and I spoke to a few of my friends who were very scared. This is because of a hate crime being investigated in the University District. A notification sent out by UW police said a woman who was not a student was held at knife point and had her hijab stolen. You're just ripping off part of our identity and then you're assaulting us. And yes, I agree with the fact that it is a sexual assault because we because you're making us uncover a part of our bodies that we choose not to uncover. This student, who is a part of the Muslim Students Association, says by wearing a hijab, women can sometimes become targets of Islamophobia. Can I continue to show my identity the way that I want to, or is it, am I literally risking my life doing this? She's definitely shaken up by it. I spoke to her briefly yesterday. Imran Siddiqui is the executive director of the advocacy group Care Washington. He says the victim told him the crime happened when she was filling a soap dispenser at work. But she said, he's like, give me this, this bull basically uh, you know, when she's, he's pulling the, the head scarf off of her head. And the police notification said one man is the primary suspect and a second man may have been involved. The woman told Siddiqui the suspect was saying things about Iran and Israel despite her being Iraqi. So when there is a rise in this type of sensationalism and, and Islamophobia in the global uh, conversation, then you see that manifesting itself on a, on a street level. As Siddiqui and his group support the victim, people in the Muslim community hope for change and acceptance. I think then when the narrative starts changing, that we will see people this like hopefully see this Islamophobia um, kind of subside a little bit. Both men possibly involved in this crime were about six feet tall and the main suspect is said to have been wearing a hooded sweatshirt and a black leather Adidas jacket. If you have any information, you are asked to contact Seattle Police. In Seattle's University District, Connor Board, King 5 News.